It's Sam Gronsky. Thank you. Thank you. Should be good now, Shay. We on, buddy? You hear me? broadcast of Stoughton High School Boys Basketball on WSTO-TV is brought to you by Stoughton Hospital. For more than 100 years, our neighbors in the Stoughton area have trusted Stoughton Hospital to provide personalized, forward-thinking, expert health care. Stoughton Hospital is a proud supporter of WSTO programming, trusted care close to home. Stoughton Trailers is proud to support Stoughton High School Athletics. Come join the family. Apply now on our career page at StoughtonTrailers.com. The UPS Store of Stoughton. You can't do it all at once, but you can do it all in one place. 2364 Jackson Street, next to Papa Murphy's. Hanson Electronics, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent and Radio Shack dealer. Pizza Pit of Stoughton, fresh, fast, and hot delivery of our great pizzas, sandwiches, chicken, and more. And McGlynn Pharmacy, your local full-service pharmacy with free delivery. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Stoughton High School Boys Basketball. Tonight, it is the Stoughton Vikings hosting the Monona Grove Silver Eagles. Tonight is senior night, and we also have my partner, Shafe, is back. Hey, Jay. I'm back. He back. Back to the normal crew here tonight, Jason and Jason. Glad to be here on Channel 981 WSTO. Beautiful night here in Stoughton. We're about to get started. Well, I wish I had better news for you, Jay, but Stoughton's not going to win the conference this year. Mm. No way that's going to happen? Can't happen. Okay. But what we can do is beat the conference champion. And have, some, and have some momentum going into the playoffs. That's right. That's right. So Stoughton's 9-4 and four in conference, and uh, MG is 11-2. They look to be the better team, but well, that's why they that's why they play the games. Well, as you can probably see, uh, that's Coach Weber down there on the floor addressing the crowd, and um, he is talking about it is senior night here in Stoughton, and the four seniors are receiving gifts. Who are the four seniors, Jay? Well, uh, the four seniors are Drew Anderson, yeah, Zach Burke. Yep. Graham Shield. Yep. And Conklin. Yes. Trenton Conklin. So looking forward to the playoffs a little bit, Shafe. The seedings were decided on Sunday. Um, so Stoughton received a seventh seed which is basically a regional quarterfinal game, a play-in game, if you will. That's going to be next Tuesday here in Stoughton against Portage. This is the first time since 2011 that Stoughton has had to play that early, that early of a game in the playoffs. Well, that's true. Their conference championship is going to be relinquished to MG this year, but... I feel like they can make a run in the playoffs. I feel like the seven seed was probably the right seed. And, you know, you never they're one of those teams you never know. In the playoffs, they could turn it on. They could gel. They could come together at the right time. You know, when you put your backs up against the wall, sometimes you play your best b-ball. Yep. Well, and some people might be wondering about the process. What happens is all the coaches from that sectional will meet on a Sunday, which they've already done. And then everyone votes. You can't vote for your team. 
And that's how the teams get seeded. So, but you know, I think if Stoughton could win tonight, have some great momentum going into the playoffs, and uh, hey, win a game and keep playing, right? Now, is that the right is that the right strategy though? If you're if you're Stoughton, you know you've got to play into the playoffs now. You got a game coming up Tuesday. Yeah. Do you go after this game and risk injury to your star players, or do you kind of lay back and see no, how it goes? Uh, at the high school level, you're, you're trying to win every game you play. Um, you know, because being that they are high school players, you know, Stone comes in here tonight and uh, say they do get smoked, um, that's going to be tough to go into the playoffs. You go in with some momentum and confidence, and I think... Although the seven seed is fair, I think that's where they should be. I feel like Stoughton's a better team than that. I feel like they're not that far away from Monona Grove, and Monona Grove has a number one seed. So, so it's tight. Yep. Anything can happen. Well, you know, you talk about the seven seed for the boys. I think that was fair. I don't know if I think a six seed for the girls was fair. Well, you know, on the uh, broadcast. Monday night, uh, we talked about that a little bit. It's surprising to me that Stoughton got that low of a seed, a sixth seed. So they did have to play the play on, play-in game on Tuesday, which they easily won against Sauk Prairie. So tomorrow night, they have to go to Reedsburg and play Reedsburg, which is the three seed. And I really think Stoughton can win that game. I feel like, did they play Reedsburg in the regular season? They did not. Okay, they didn't. Now, Stoughton on the boys' side has already played Portage and beat them. We just had a question from a crowd member. I have no idea what he said. Did you? Uh, no. So typically here, Jay, um, Stoughton will start will start all four of their seniors and play them for a couple minutes. Kind of a tradition. Yeah, I mean, uh, Tyler Anderson always plays, always starts anyway. But so we'll pause here a little bit for the national anthem. Beautiful anthem, as always, here in Stoughton, Jay. Yep. Well, Jay, I think we ought to mention we got a little competition in the house. Uh oh 
We got Big 1070, and we got ESPN Radio here. Yep, 100.5. Didn't uh, didn't WKRP in Cincinnati have like a rival radio station? You know, I didn't watch that show much. Really? But it was. I do remember it, but I think they had some uh, funny episodes where they. Had some interesting competition. I remember, so I, can't remember. I remember Lonnie Anderson was on the show. <laughs> remember her? Yeah, I sure do. And wasn't there a guy named Johnny Fever? Yeah, Johnny Fever. <laughs> WKIP in Cincinnati. You know, you know the one. Jay, this is our last broadcast of the season, man. It is. Unless WSTO picks us up for the playoffs. Unlikely, Shafe. Or the guys we met at ESPN Radio call us in because they just liked us so much. Right. You know, it could happen. For the seniors, it's their last night playing basketball. Some of them last night playing competitive basketball all together. Yep. Kind of sad. Drew Anderson's a good player. Is he going to play in college? Um, I'm not sure. Zach Burke in the starting lineup. I like to see it. Yep. There's Anderson. You know Burke's going to get a shot up, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, as soon as he gets it, it's going off. There's Hobson. And Trenton Conklin also gets a start. Hard not to be pumped at this stage in the game here, just getting ready to tip off. Yep. I want him to go after it and win too. I just don't know if I'd play it that way as a coach. Nah, uh, you gotta go for it, Chief. Yeah, you're right about momentum. In high school especially, you yeah. know, even at in college maybe not, but at this level. Hey look, even in the pros, you got an NFL game, two teams are gonna be in the playoffs, but they happen to be playing the last regular season game against each other. Yep. Yeah, as a fan, you don't necessarily want to see your te team lay down. You Looks know, like Conklin's going to tip it off on a clear 22-degree night outside, Shafe. Always nice and toasty inside, though. Stoughton will be going to your left. Would you describe those uniforms as powder blue, Shafe? I would. That's a powder blue. Monona Grove and the powder blue is going to your right. Almost a brewer blue. <laughs> and the opening tip will go to the Silver Eagles. And we're underway. We'll see how long Stoughton goes with their three seniors that normally don't start. I'm sure a few possessions at least, wouldn't you think? It's number two here, Cade Nelson. He'll be handling the ball. Okay. Here's a mid-range shot. That's no good. Conklin rebound. Hobson's got it, and here comes Stoughton. Just underway. There's Burke. Come on, Burke. Put it up. There's Shield. Dribbling. Oh, almost got picked. Burke's got it back. Over to Hobson. To Conklin. Nice Go up strong, buddy. Off the glass. Rims out of there. Mm, no good. Good shot. Just fell off the rim there. Still scoreless early on. Stone looks like it's playing a zone there. So who are the main, who's the main scoring threat for Monona Grove? That would be Caden Nelson, number okay. two, and number 11, Henry Houston. Yep, and he just scored on a runner there. 16.50 left. Monona Grove on the board, leading 2-0. Here's Anderson. Over to Burke. Inside pass that's tipped away. That's the second time they tried Conklin down low. Yep. That'll happen. Intended for Conklin. Nelson. Here's a three ball shave. Rims out of there, no good. Conklin rebound. Number five, Sam Hap with the attempt. And here comes Hobson, Stoughton's leading score with over 16 points a game. Oh, shield for three, Shafe. Oh, no good. Halfway down. That was halfway down and it rattled out of there. Nice shot, one, two. Oh, that would have been great. Well, they're certainly going to let him go at least a few possessions here. Hey, why not? Why not, yep. Yeah. 16-15 left. 
first half. There's a drive. Thought about the three. Nelson to Houston. Back to Nelson. Almost a push off there. Nora Grove being patient. It's number three, Jordan Bishop getting involved. Oh, thought about the three there. All the way in. That's going to rim out of there no good. Battle for it. It'll go down to Stoughton. Yeah, I thought that was off five, Sam Hep. Yep. Burke to inbound. No fouls yet, Jay. No fouls. 15-38 left, first half. There probably will be a few fouls, though. Here's Shield. Gets it down to Conklin. Finish that, buddy. Oh, he missed oh. I've never seen a ball hang on the rim that long. <laughs> oh, there's a pass deflected away. Hobson's got it, and he's running. He's going to knife his way through there, and there's a foul. That's going to be on Caden Nelson, his first. Reaching. How did that not go in? Have you ever seen a ball come to rest on the rim? You know, that being said, you got to make that layup. Yeah, you do. I mean, couldn't have been closer. Burke is probably like, why haven't I shot it yet? And great pass by Shield Elbow. Yes. yes. There's Shield. There's Anderson. Burke wants it. He's got it. Burke in a little bit of trouble there. Tough pass. And there's a nice pass to Anderson. Go up, buddy. Good. Layup's good. Just a strong move inside the paint. Under 15 to play. We're tied at two. Thought he could have got fouled there. There's Henry Houston. That's Bishop. Bishop number three. Houston. Nelson. Oh, they handle the ball a lot, huh? They sure do. Kicks it out. There's a three ball. That rims out of there no good. Conklin rebound. Sam Hep on the attempt. 14.32 left, first quarter, tied at twos. Not a lot of scoring here yet. Hobson dumps it down to Conklin and just can't quite get a handle on it. That's obviously the move with this lineup, get it down to Conklin. Yep, there's a foul, that's gonna be on Burke. Oh, they called that on Drew Anderson. That'll be his first. Yeah, you're right. I thought I saw him reach and grab. Still no signs of substitutions for Stoughton yet. Let him play, right? Yeah, let him play. Why not? There's a three ball. That's good. Ow. Nothing but net from uh, Caden Nelson there. Nothing but the bottom of the cup. 5-2 Silver Eagles lead. Sheel in a little bit of trouble there. Gets it to Conklin. That's Hobson. There's a three ball from Hobson. Good. It good. Tied at five. 13.48 left, first half. I think Hobson, Hobson just kept this line up out there. That's a long three shape. Rims out of there, no good. Battle for it. Loose ball comes to Hobson. He's running. Nice behind the back there. He's going to hold it. Burke, Come Burke, on, Burke. Three shape. Good! Yeah. Zach Burke with a clutch three-pointer. It good. Time out. No. Wow. Oh. Wow. Stoughton will uh, check in some of the regular starters, but what a way for Zach Burke and oh. Senior Night to go out there. A lot of smiles on the bench there, huh? Oh. That's great. Hutcherson, Nelson. You can, al you can always say, hey, I made a clutch three. And Sproul back in the game. Wow, that's great. So we got Hutch in there now. That ball thrown away. Turnover MG, 13-18 left first quarter. Because of Burke, the Vikings lead 8-5. Wow. Back-to-back -back threes. Burke said, I'm open. I knew Burke would fire. I knew it. There's no way he's not firing. Dumps it to Nelson. Go up strong, buddy. Oh, rejected. Wow. Rejected by number 24. Yep. Kyle Nett. Yep. There's a three ball. That rims good. Okay, Nelson, we're tied at eights. Not sure how that went in. It... Hit off the back of the rim, went up and went down. Here's a steal. And he's going in for the layup and a foul. The foul on Nelson. Drew, Drew's upset about that, but you've got to, you know, come on, Drew. Just lay off him. Yeah. He had it all the way. 
That's going to be Caden Nelson who's going to shoot a pair. Nelson, a 6'1 senior. We got a timeout. Drew is upset. You rarely see him lose his composure like that. Well, I think he's, uh, you know, if he's that upset, he's pretty sure he didn't commit the foul. I don't know, Jay. What do you think? I thought he got him on the, on the arm. I agree. And I think, you know, we've talked about this before. In that situation, he's got an easy layup. Just let it just go, let right? It go. You just got to let it go. Yeah. You know, concede the two points and move on. I mean, the way this guy shoots a three ball, I got to imagine he's a pretty good free throw shooter, too. Yeah, sure enough, he's shooting, he's shooting 80%. He's going to make his free throws. Don't follow him. Got a message from Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy Tomchuk? I don't know. He's probably over there on his iPhone 4 over there. Is that him with the hat? Zoomed up to about 300% so he can see it. <laughs> That's him. Jimmy in the house. Hey, let's go, Ma uh, you know, I almost said Max Fernholz, but it's uh, Luke Fernholz. Luke. Luke. Little Max. Mini Max. He's a freshman, right? Luke. I always think of that when Luke, like Obi-Wan, Luke. Luke. That free throw gives the Silver Eagles a lead. Second one's also good. Winona Grove showing a little bit of pressure. Here comes Hutch, and there's a foul. That's going to be on uh, Lance, Lance, Nelson. Lance, Nelson. Lance Nelson. Lance Nelson, yeah. You know, that's a name you don't hear much anymore. Lance? You know, you don't hear a lot of high schoolers these days named Lance. Right. Or Ralph. Yeah. You know, when I was in high school, Lance was always, like, the cool guy's name. Lance. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, he did kind of what he wanted. He, Kip. You know, yeah, he did whatever he wanted. He was he was Lance. There's Luke. Hobson. Oh, got it picked away, got it back. Oh, missed oh. another layup, Shane. That was Luke. Can't miss those. Luke, you can't miss the easy ones. <laughs> <laughs> Rebound sprawl. I don't think the force was with him on that one, Shane. That's right. Oh, oh. Hudson having all kinds of problems dribbling it. Hutch thought about the three. Here's Sproul. I'd like to see Hutch shoot more. Yeah, me too. He just really doesn't shoot a lot. No. Nope. There he stops and pops. Rims out of there, no good. Battle for it. Comes to Monona Grove. You know, they've ar Stoughton's already missed. Uh, that ball is. Oh, oh, that is some great concentration by number 24, Kyle Nett. Kyle Nett, yep. Pull down that pass and go back up with it. For two. 12-8. Hutch kicks it out to Hobson for three. It's yes. good. Money. Nice. That a boy, Hobson. 12-11. Stoughton trails by one. 11-22 left first half. Houston drives. Right. Yep, there's a net, and that got fouled there by Nelson. Well, all of a sudden, uh, net's tr causing trouble for us down low. Yep. You know, that ref's looking at uh, Nelson. Nelson sometimes has got to relax a little bit. Um, Monday night's game, he got into big time foul trouble. A couple ticky tack fouls and wound up falling out with about four minutes left. You know. Nelson's, go Nelson's gonna come out. He's gonna be replaced by Ethan Scavlin. Stoughton trails by two. Nets got one more here. Second one is also good. 14-11, Monona Grove leads. Showing a little bit of pressure, and the ball's stolen. Mm. And the layup is rejected, and they're going to call a foul. I don't, I don't agree with that call. I foul. thought, I thought Luke got nothing but ball on that. No. Yeah. Maybe there was some contact in, on, at the body. I don't know. And the foul is going to be on 15. Luke Fernholds. Caden Nelson to shoot two. First one's good. You know, Stone's missed three layups, and if you're going to beat a team like MG, you just can't miss those. You can't miss the easy ones, Jay. No. You can't miss the bunnies. Second free throw, also good. 16-11 now. You don't, you want to, you, you know, I think Stone's goal tonight, keep it close, see what you can do at the end. Here's Fernholtz. 
Scamlin goes up, rejected. Got to go up quicker with that. Yep. That's Sam Hap with the rejection. MG's just quicker, quicker to the ball. There's a almost a throwaway. He's driving it all the way in there. That's no good. Wide Ball rebound. Lane. Here comes Hobson. Nice pass. Go up, Scavlin. Go up, buddy. Fernholtz off the glass. Good. You know, if you, you get, if you get Luke Fernholtz uh, a little comfortable out here, he could do some damage. That's right. There's a long three shape. Back on your no good. Sproul rebound. There ten, we go. Let's ten, go, Hutch. 22 Hush. left. Oh. First half. The lead's three. Hobson over to Fernholtz. He's traveled. Fell into the imaginary hole on the court there. Luke. Tripped over the three-point line, Jay. Got to watch out. Yeah, that used to happen to me. Now checking in is for Stoughton. Number 20, Owen Chase. Owen Chase checking in. You know what he did not mention yet? Kale McGee is out of this game with a bum ankle. We talked to him a little bit before the game. Yeah, we did. Talked to him on the baseline there for a little bit. Yeah, he's out. Out for tonight's game. Hopefully Didn't hopefully know. back for the playoffs. Yeah. There's a travel, right? Mm. Call something on Owen Chase. I don't know, a touch fall. Sproul will come out. Conklin will check back in. Stone's already at five team fouls. But they're only down by three. Yep. Yeah, just stay close. These good teams like this, stay close and mm -hmm. see what can see what you can do. Yeah, clearly MG's outplayed Stoughton here in the first half. Yep. But we're hanging in there. We're hanging in but, there. There's a tough shot. He got fouled. That's he a sure bad did. foul. He sure did. Yep. He got fouled. Then I'll send number five, Sam Hep to the line. That's Hobson's. Hobson's first. Yeah, he clearly fouled him on that one. Sam, a 56% free throw shooter. So he'll probably make one out of two of these, Shave. And let's hope that's the one he makes now. 17-13, Silver Eagles lead. 9.45 left in the first half. Second throw is good. Lead is back to five. Here's Chase, over to Hobson, who gets it down to Conklin. Go up there, buddy, good. Nice job, nice pass. That's how it's supposed to work. The Vikings are really moving the ball well here. That's a 29-footer, Shafe. That's, that's off the back of the stanchion there. That'll be a Vikings ball. So does the Monona Grove coach just say, hey, you know, you're open from 28 feet. Just launch it. Well. I was talking to a couple of the MG fans here before the game, and they said that Henry Houston can just launch it. from That's like Steph Curry range. Here's Hobson. Over to Conklin. Hutch, nice pass to Conklin. Oh, let's go up with that right yeah. away. Here's Hobson, wide open three, Shafe. It's no good. Scamlin, nice rebound, buddy. Hobson again for three, Shafe. Again, no good. Long on both occasions. Couple good looks there, though. I like both of those looks. I do, too. Here's a spin move. Looks like he's traveling. No call. Fast-paced game tonight. Yep, I like the pace of it. I up like and the down pace. they go. Up and down they go. Yep. Ooh, that ball's deflected out of bounds. It'll stay with Stoughton. Eight and a half minutes left, first half. You like this kind of pace, this up and down? I do, I do. They are going after it. Yep. It's exciting. Conklin to inbound. Gets it to Hobson. Needs some help. Gets it to Hutch. Back to Chase. Don't have a lot of scoring options here. You you have you really have Hobson. That's your you know your best option. Or Conklin down low too. Yeah. There you go. Conklin goes back down low. That's where he should be. Yep. Trying to set a pick there for Hobson. Pick and roll, Jay. Pick and roll. Go up strong, Conklin. Scavlin. Hit it. Hops in for three. Long. Off the backboard. Good. Maybe he was trying to hit that off the glass the whole time, Jay. 
Is the bank open this late on a Thursday night, Shave? It was. <laughs> uh, hey, we'll take it. That ties it at 18. Sometimes you got to get those to go. That's and there, Caden Nelson just answers back with a three of his own. I mean, that's how you answer. Wow. That is a great answer. I mean, that's just, they answered right back. Almost a steal. Scavlin's way out high there. He gets it back to Hutch. Hutch dribbling. Oh, there's oh, a stolen by Bishop. Oh, there's a battle for it, Shape. Oh, what are oh, they, they going to call it? Tripping ball? Oh, come on. What is that? I mean, I just felt like both players were going for the ball there, right. didn't you? Right, yeah. Well, that's that, that should have been a no call. Well, well, MG's already in the bonus. That'll send number three, Jordan Bishop, to the line. Jordan's shooting 37% from the line. That's not good. Wow, with seven, over seven minutes left, and they're already in the bonus. That rims out of there. So no damage done? No damage done. Vikings down by three. 7-16 left, first half. Let's get a bucket here. Here's Chase over to Scavlin. The hops in who just banked a three. What do we got? Now it's it's come becoming on the kind of a uh, foul parade here. Well, you know that you're gonna have that in a fast-paced game. You're gonna get, you know, you're gonna get a lot of reach. Yeah. Looks like Drew Anderson will check back into the game for. You know, there's Chase. some uh, there's some discussion down there. I'm not sure what's going on here with the refs. And 15, Luke Fernholtz back in for Nathan Hutchinson. Is there some kind of, uh, I'm not sure what's going on here, Shape. Is there, there's been a technical call on somebody. I don't know if it was on Weber or what happened here. Well, I, I didn't see anything that warranted a technical foul. If anything, I thought Hobson got fouled going to the hoop. Yeah, so Bishop is shooting technicals here. You know that? What it what I feel like it is, because I didn't see anything, is I feel like it was somebody's language. Somebody's choice of words gave us a technical foul. I'm not sure that's what it is, but if it is that, you gotta have more self control than that. Well, there's a lot of confusion down there and um, I'm looking down here at the scores table and I don't think they even know what's going on here. Uh, that, well, that balloons the lead to five. It could have been a that could have been a technical on the uh, Stones bench. Yeah, you're right. That puts the lead at five, and Monona Grove has the ball. But Caden Nelson is good with the basketball. Kicks it out. Wow, what a save by number 24. Kyle Nett. Monona Grove being patient here now. Easy layup and one. Oh, we missed the layup. Missed the layup, but this uh, this Nett kid, he, he is agile down there underneath. Yep, Kyle Nett will shoot two. Stoughton committing. That's already their ninth foul. Kyle, 81% uh, free throw shooter. Missed that one. Second one, also no good, so wow. we're getting a little bit of help with their missed free throws. Yep, we gotta convert on something here. Just down by five. Just get two points. Yep. Here's Conklin. Fernholtz. Over to Hobson. Fernholtz. Anderson. Have no one to really get it inside. Wow. They didn't, travel. they didn't call the travel. Well, I guess they, yeah. Anderson. Oh! Wow. wow. Tough shot, Anderson. Good. Wow. Great concentration by Drew Anderson. You know what? He got rejected. He said, that's all right. I'll get it back and put it in. Yeah. I like it. Oh, there's a spin move. Wow. That's no good. Conklin rebound. Chance to tie it. Here we go, Shave. Fernholtz traveling, no call. I'd like to tie it with a three, wouldn't you? 
Scavlin, go up strong, buddy. And foul. Good ball. job. Good job. But, but Jay, I think you'd agree. When you get that ball, Scavlin, go up first time. Yeah, go uh, up. You know, the big men, a lot of, they're always, they always want to do that, that dribble first. Just go up. Do we have any uh, shooting 46% from the line? Hey, all right. He'll make his first. <laughs> Sproul and Hutch back in. Hobson will take, I'm sure, a quick breather. 521 left here first half. Stoughton can pull within one. There you go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Second one, no good. That's all right, one out of two. That's about his percentage. Stoughton has cut it to two. Winona Grove's really moving the ball well. Yep, yep. There's all the way in the lane. That shot is short. And we got a foul. Yeah. I agree with that. That's the right call. Gonna got be, him on the hand. That's going to be on net. 24 net. That's only his first. It's hard not to be complimentary of this MG team. I mean, they've got a few really good players. This Hep kid's good. Bishop is good. Yep. Nelson and, of course, Houston. Good lineup. But here you are, Stoughton, within two, five minutes left, first half. Yeah, everything I've seen tonight from Monona Grove tells me that they're going to they're gonna have a nice playoff run. But tonight, let's uh, let's give them an L tonight. How about that? Yeah, I'd like to fly the L. Here's fly Nelson. The L be patient, Nelson. Be patient. There you go. And one. That's, one. That's how you do it, big Jack Nelson. Nice. Down and dirty, buddy. All day. This kid's going to Wisconsin to play offensive line. Yep. Just go up with the basketball. Free throw is no good. But we're still tied. Nelson, a 50% free throw shooter. 4.42 left in the half. Stoughton has tied it. Yeah, they that's a long three. Wow, no good. Wow. Nelson rebound. Jack's fired up. Get him the ball. Yeah. He wants it. I mean, he's got the size down there. Sure does. He wants it. Yeah. Give it to him. Give it to him. Tipped away. Oh. Save. Great save by Bishop. Yeah. Nelson brings it up. Hep's got it. Over to Houston. Look at He's looking to launch again there. He was. <laughs> That's a travel, isn't it? That was a travel. <laughs> Here comes Hutch. Let's take the lead here, Shape. Oh, Anderson for three. Oh, he faked it. Kicks it out for Holtz. His brother would have sh shot that one. Yep. His brother would have launched that. That's no call. I like the no call. Go. Oh, I love the concentration from Drew tonight. Stone's got the lead, Shape. 25-23, Vikings lead. 13. I should say 340 left in the half. It's their first lead. Nice. Keep it. Yep. Nelson on the ball. Stone's fired up, Shafe. Hutch is playing great defense. It was, oh! Yeah. yeah. Another foul. That'll send Kate Nelson back to the line. Let's see who that was, that was on. Uh, that was on Hutch's second. Shooting 80%. First one is good. Oh, you met those uh, ESPN announcers, and they're keeping their own books, so they know how many how many points each player has right now. Well, they're multi-talented. We'll, we'll get there, Shafe. We're, you know, we, just, we have work to do. We just want to let you know out there. We're working on it. We're, we know where we need to go. Yeah. It's nothing but up from here, Shafe. That's right. I'm sure enjoying this first season broadcasting, though. I am. I've enjoyed it, too, Jay. I hope all you uh, viewers out there are enjoying it. Second one, no good. The bottom line was we're just big fans of Stoughton basketball. and Stoughton in general. Yep. Just rooting on all the kids. Nelson finished that. Just fouled. It's good, it's, it's, it's good he got fouled, but really, Jay, if he would have just went up right away, he'd have had two points. Absolutely, just go right up with it. Is that going to be on net? I think that's his third. Uh, second, it's second. according to the board. You're right, though. Um, you're right, he got fouled, but just go up right away. Free throw rims in. Got a boy, Jack. Make him count. Stoughton up by two. Three minutes left in the first half. His free throw is just a line drive. Yeah, I mean, Shaq style. <laughs> hey, that goes in. Makes both. 
Doesn't matter as long as it goes in, right? That's right. Stone leads by three now, Shave. If they go in, they count it. Yep. Unless it's after the buzzer. Then it's no good. It'd be great to have a lead here going in the half, wouldn't it? Oh, he's pushing off, isn't he? Or if it's a charge. No. Yeah, they're moving it around really nicely. Or Stone, Stone's playing good defense, though. They're switching. Playing man-to-man. Or, -man. or if you travel, and then you make it. It's, right. That, that doesn't count. Yep. Not every time it goes in does it count. Good defense, Stoughton. There's net. That's good. Got a couple of new check-ins here for Monona Grove. We got number 21, Lance Nelson, and number 12, Trey Loken. Here's Sproul. Nelson wants it, Chafe. He is. He said, feed me. He's pumped down there. He did. He did. Just pointed to his mouth. <laughs> feed the beast. Here's Anderson. He wants to get it to him. Nelson kicks it out to... Anderson thought about the three. Yep. He's open. Go up. Go up. Just go up. Yes, good. No one is going to stop that. No. Nobody. Not on this team. Every time, Shave. And Nelson's fired up. He wants the ball. He sure does. I like I like the way he's playing right now. Yep. Yeah, you get a guy like that hot in the playoffs, he could just take he, over. Yes. He's 6'7", he's got a huge frame. Oh, great defense. Bravo. That's a great defense from Jack Nelson. Good job. He's taking over the game right now. Yeah. It's the Jack Nelson show. 127 left in this first half. Stoughton leads by three, 29 to 26. Great pick and roll there yep. on the last possession. Well. Sproul's going to pick for Nelson right here. Here it comes. Yep, there it is. Go up. Wow. Unstoppable, yeah, Shane. Unstoppable. Just keep doing it. Why have we not been doing that all year? All year. Well, there are, I think there are some other teams with more size down low, but Monona Grove doesn't have it. 31-26. Stoughton leads. There's a three ball. Back iron no good. Battle for it. Comes out to Stoughton. Just another great play by Jack Nelson. Yep who has just absolutely taken over this first half. Stoughton leads 31-26. Probably played for the last shot here, Jay. I think they might. I think you're right. Here's Conklin. Of course, if you get it down to Nelson for a layup, you just do it. I mean, if they leave him wide open, right. just take another two. Down to 35 seconds left. Hobson's going to yeah, take they, it out. They are going to just wait here. 30 seconds left. Makes you wonder about a shot clock for high school basketball. Yeah, we talk about that a lot. Um, you know, 35, 40 seconds maybe. Yep. 40 seconds would have would have made them shoot the ball. Tonight. I like I like 30 or 35. Yeah. Um, so down to 15 seconds here. What is it in college? 30. 30. Yep. Yeah. Pros is 24. Here's Hobson all the way in with the tough layup, no good. Ah, uh, should have looked for Nelson down low, and now yeah. you've given MG enough time to try and score. There's a long three. Go. Not played well by the Vikings nope. there at the end of the half. You gotta take more time off the clock. You took 30, 34 seconds off the clock. Well, when Stoughton got that possession, there was 53 seconds left. They played for one shot, but after the missed layup, you know, Monona Grove still had like eight seconds to run their offense. And they get a huge three to end the half. So we are at halftime from Stoughton. Momentum swings MG's way, but Stoughton still leads at the end of the first half by two. 31-29. Well, Jay, I guess we should uh, probably thank uh, sponsors of 981 WSTO. You know, Shape, the games are, they're all on 980 now. Oh, we've switched from 981 to 980? Yeah, we've done that a while ago. Oh, okay. So well, we're, we're on the SSN network now, which okay. is the... Stoughton Sports Network. What happens if you turn on channel 981? Then you'll get some kind of programming that's not sports. Oh, but it's new pro new programming even. Well, it's, I, I don't know if it's new programming, but channel 980 is only Stoughton Sports. Oh, all time. Is it? Does it have its? Is it still WSTO? Yes. Does it have like a tagline name? 
Yeah, right. And so our director just chimed in and let us know that 980 is sports only. Yep. And that's where we're at. We're at channel 980 yes. WSTO. So, and if you want to see, um, well, they show a lot of our games on there. A lot of older games you can check out on demand. Um, and, uh, yeah, we appreciate everyone checking in. Of course, at halftime, Shafe, we uh, start. We like to mention our sponsors. Yep. Well, one of our sponsors is Stoughton Trailers, and I know something that's always true about them, Jay. You know what that is? I do. What is it? They're always. What are they doing? Always, always hiring. hiring. They're always hiring, yeah. folks. I mean, maybe you want to pick up a second job. Yeah. You know, maybe you're feeling strong. And you want to work first shift and second shift. Yeah. Maybe you call Stoughton Trailers to pick up second shift. Yeah. You know, I mean, you got expenses, your car breaks down, you know. And um, my good friend Ron Jake that's in the marketing over there at Stoughton Trailers tells me how you can really move your way up into the company. You know, you can get in, you're building trailers, you can work as much as you want. And I mean, honestly, what could feel better about directly contributing to the economy of the United States of America by building right. trailers that businesses need to get their product. Yeah. Like you want to go, you know, you want to go get some orange juice at Pick and Save, right? Right. Like that comes on a truck right. and somebody has to build that trailer. That's right. That's you awesome. know what? They do build it right there at Stoughton Trailers. That's right. So look them up on the web, call them up on the phone, find yeah. yourself a job. You know, one of the reasons why you might need money is because maybe you got sick or maybe you got injured and you ended up at Stoughton Hospital. Yep. Stoughton Hospital, another one of our sponsors. Yep. Just outstanding to have such a top-rated hospital in our in our town. Yep. They it, do a great job. It makes you feel a little more safe. Yep. It makes you feel like if some kind of an emergency happens, there's somewhere to go. I know I've thought about that. Yeah. Well, you're usually pretty reluctant to go to the hospital. But why sometimes you, you have to. Why do you say that, Jay? Well, I mean, I've seen you get hurt. Yeah. And they say, I'm fine, so I'm not going to the hospital. Well, but if you needed to go, you would feel good about going to Stone Hospital, right? Well, look, there's a difference between a sprained ankle and a broken femur. Like, like yeah, if you break your femur, you can't just be like, I'm fine. And you know, this time of the year, unfortunately, with this brutal weather and snow, I mean, I'm sure there's been a time or two where someone's lost a digit on a snow snowblower. Right, and you know it's not that far away, so you could you could put that digit in some ice, and they could probably fix it up for you. Yeah, that's another one you can't just say I'm fine. I'll walk it off. If you lose a digit, you you know you probably you need to check in to Stoughton Hospital, and there isn't a better hey, hospital to check hey, in. Isn't that Max Fernholtz right there? There he is, Max Fernholtz, little brother playing tonight. It's awful nice of him to come watch. Probably gonna tell his brother after the game, shoot it. Yeah, shoot it more. Yeah. He did have a great lot drive into the lane though. Yes. Scored two. Did miss a couple of the easy bunnies, though. Well, another sponsor I really like, Shafe, is Pizza Pit. I'm, I just enjoy the Pizza Pit, and it's a great, with a lot of options in Stoughton, Pizza Pit's the best. You know, I've tried a lot of Stoughton pizzas, and I always go back to Pizza Pit. Yep. For the quality, the price, the service, they do a great job delivering. The delivery service is impeccable. Yep. Never had a problem. That's right. And I kind of live in a, you know, it's tough to see my address from the side of the road. Real long mm -hmm. driveway. Have you, had, have you had difficulties with that? No. Not, okay. not from Pizza Pit. Do you know that our, do you know Derek Westby works at Pizza Pit? No, I didn't. Yeah. Well, maybe, you know, a Derek. <laughs> and I, and I went and got a carryout pizza the other night, and I just missed him. I know. Yeah. Next year we're going to HD, and would, next he, year we're he, getting a monitor, yeah. and next year we're getting new headsets. Maybe wow. next year we're also getting a pizza. Yeah. I mean, did you, we you could, didn't even they, think of that. They could show us on air eating Pizza Pit. Right. I mean, that's branding right there for Pizza yeah. Pit. Oh, that would be great. You know, just a, just a small. You know, have you, you had... to be greedy. Have you had other things at Pizza Pit besides pizza? Have you had, Bread, like... Breadsticks. Breadsticks. Oh. But have you had, like, the chicken wings or anything? I've had the wings, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they do a good job. I enjoy, I enjoy chicken wings. I like spicy food. As I get older, I notice my body doesn't like it as much. Does your body say, hey, I don't know if I like this that much? Why, why do you want your mouth to be on fire? <laughs> right. But I like it. I don't know why. Yeah, the joys of getting old. Yeah. You know. And again, Stoughton Hospital. Well, you know, Shave, if 
you're eating some of those hot wings or something too spicy, you know, it's bothering you. You could always go to McGlynn Pharmacy, another great sponsor, and get some uh, get some over-the-counter, you know, to help with maybe some heartburn or, you know. Like sometimes I'd, I'll just get a bottle of Mylanta and chug that for a little bit, you know. <laughs> I mean, just right out of the bottle, huh, James? Yeah, yeah. You don't even use the measuring no. thing? No. You know... <laughs> <laughs> you know, the other night I was watching, uh, I was going to call you too. I yeah. was watching Major League. Yeah. Ian Happer. Yeah. It's classic. so great. It's a classic. And remember that general manager who is, you know, yeah. supposed to help the team lose? And they show him up in that, uh, up in the suite with the, that lady owner, and he's just he's just drinking Maalox. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Meanwhile, Euchre's up in the booth doing shots of Jack Daniels. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Roger Dorn, all the guys. Yeah. <laughs> Willie Mays Hayes. Just well, you may run like Hayes, but you can't say that on WSDO. <laughs> <laughs> Serrano. Wow, this guy hits a ton. Why has nobody signed this guy? All right, start throwing the breaking ball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. We better... Or wild thing, we better get this kid under control before he kills somebody. <laughs> How much? <laughs> 97. Good velocity. <laughs> and when he gives up that huge grand slam, he's like, hey, at least it was a strike. <laughs> and that one's headed towards Nebraska. Yeah, that one's off the reservation. So McGlynn Pharmacy, another great sponsor. Also, we all... Always like to mention Hanson Electronics. You know, if you're all your cellular needs, you know, say you got a flip phone, Shafe, you know, and you're yeah. like, hey, I want to get like a smartphone, like yeah. like Jimmy Tomchek. You know, he's got a maybe he has a flip phone and he yeah. wants to upgrade to an iPhone three. Actually, I think that recently occurred. <laughs> and you know, they can help. They can help a guy like Jimmy because he'll go in there and say, what do you do with this thing? Jay, it's been quite a while since I've seen anyone with a flip phone. What do you do with this thing? Oh, I'm at work. Sometimes I still see him. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So. Ooh. But, uh. You're yeah. almost trying to be off the grid if you're using a flip, <laughs> a flip phone. So, again, Hanson Electronics, great sponsor. And, you know, as we wrap up the season, Jay, those sponsors are, they, they help us do everything we're doing here. And we really appreciate it. We really do want to. And all those businesses are just such a part of the community and one of the reasons I love Stoughton. A sincere thanks to all of our sponsors. McGlynn Pharmacy, Stoughton Hospital, Stoughton Trailer, Hanson Electronics, and who could ever forget the wonderful, the delicious pizza pit. Mm. I'm thinking about pizza right now. There's a fan here to my right eating a piece of pizza. It's probably oh, from pizza and that pit. is from Pizza Pit too. It, is. it looks delicious. Oh. Yeah. He's eating it right in front of me, Shane. I might be hungry after the game, Jay. I'm just saying, and maybe a little thirsty, too. I'm just saying. And he's just... Well, another fun thing we always like to do is uh, kind of check out the crowd, see who we got out there. Uh, who's who? Yep. You know we got Thane Anderson out there somewhere. Oh, yeah. Yep. Haven't seen him, but I know he's there. I've already seen him. Jimmy Tom checks out there. We've said that a few times. Jimmy. I'm sure many of the Sproles are amongst us. Oh, and there I see Ryan Shore down yep. on uh, court side there on the home side of the bench. Yep, I saw Terry Shore down there earlier. And then we also got Rob and Kim Knopf down there. There's Dave Sproul, the, 19, the 1981 star for Stoughton. When dunking was illegal. You know, you think if you go back to, like, 1981, you could find some grainy footage of Dave Sproul. Like, I would love to. I would love to. You know, I've it would almost be like it would almost be like found footage. Maybe it's something we could do at halftime next year. Show some videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stoughton will inbound. If we've got a monitor, we can have the boys do it, and then we can comment on the videos and maybe use all kinds, replay. All kinds oh. of exciting things are going to happen. We got to keep a book, though. All right. Yes. So Stoughton's going to your right in the white. We're just underway in the second half. Nelson wants that ball shape. Three ball hops in good. <laughs> That's a, that's a huge shot. That is a big shot early in the first half. The lead is five for Stoughton. Just got to maintain that lead. I mean, this is the number one seed team in the region. In this, in their region. So, 
Houston with the ball. But Monona Grove can score and score quick. There's a tough shot rejected. Nelson's got it. Ooh, a hard check by Drew Anderson goes uncalled. That's no call there. Come on. There's a foul. That's on Sam Happ. I don't know about that, Jamie, and I love the Stoughton Vikings, but I think Drew kind of threw the forearm into that one a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you know, and as most of you have probably realized by now, we are located, per usual, in the visiting team section, so you may, may hear some groaning from the Monona Grove crowd. Here's Sproul. Go up, buddy. Got picked there, and it's going to go down to... Ooh, how are they going to call that out on Sproul? I think it was he got stripped and it went off his foot, went off the old knee. Wow, Bucket there would have taken the lead to seven. One knee equals two feet. <laughs> yeah. There's an... Oh, nice block. Should have been a travel. Wow. Stone is fired up playing great defense. Here's Nett. There's Sam Happ. Stone is fired up. Yep. Goes in, no call, off the glass is good. Straight up by Sproul, no call, that was good. Good good no call there. Stone still up by three, 16-40 yep. left, first half. Maintain that lead, maintain that lead. Oh, go up, Nelson. There you go, off the glass, wow. good. Wow, is that strong. Two players just over his back, he just goes up. I think the strategy at halftime was give the ball to Nelson. It has to be. Yep. There's good defense again, battled for it. Should go down to Stoughton, it does. Monona Grove is definitely frustrated here. Quick quick sub here by uh, Coach Weber. He'll take Sproul out of the game and put Luke Fernholtz back in. Yeah, you don't have McGee tonight, so Fernholtz is getting a lot of playing time tonight. A lot of playing time for the freshman. Here's Hobson. Be patient here. Fernholtz for, oh, Fernholtz. Anderson for three, Shafe. Good! That a boy, Drew. It good. Eight-point lead for the Vikings. Biggest lead of the game, Jay. Let's keep it going, Shafe. Layup rims out of there, Shafe. Wow, Bishop just didn't convert on a great Here pass comes by Houston. Three ball, Shafe. Oh. Fernholtz. Wow, what a rebound. Kick that out. Fernholtz. Hutch didn't really, didn't, oh, come on. It was away from the balls. They're going to call that on Jack oh, Nelson. Geez. That'll be his first, Jay? No, they called that on, didn't they call that on Fernholds? I don't think so. Yeah, it's Nelson, his second. Yeah. Now, here's where you got to be careful, Nelson. You got to just relax. Yep. And they're going to take him out. Conklin's going to come in. So you got a little bit of a cushion, so you gotta gotta maintain that while yeah. Nelson's out. Just play good D. Focus on playing yep. good D. There's a three ball. Just as I say that, they leave yeah. over five. Sam Hep wide open for yep. three. Timeout. Timeout Stoughton. That's a good timeout. Yep. 15.09 remaining. It's a full timeout. 39-34. Stoughton leads. 5-5. Five, five. That's a good size lead. Well, I understand they're taking out Nelson here, probably for just a few minutes. Yep. But I, I anticipate only a couple short you, minutes. You're not going to win this game without Nelson no. in the game. I think I think maybe they just keep him in now too, because they have a chance to talk to him and say, "Look, just don't commit fouls, okay? You've got to be there for us late in this game. You just got to be a little, you know." Don't be over aggressive on rebounds and just get back, get, you know, battle for it and then just get out of there. And definitely don't foul away from the ball. Right. Not necessary. And at this level, a little kind of a little push or something, especially from such a big kid, they're gonna call it. Yeah. No, I still like the strategy of getting it down low. Why not get it down to Conklin? Yeah, same thing. You same know? strategy is working. Uh, you know, get it down low, and then every once in a while, kick it out and take a three. It looks like uh, MG is going to use that timeout. To, they're going to press. They, they want to get right back into this game. Yeah, they they, sure they want to get into the game now. So here's Hutch. Nice pass over to... Here we go, Hobson. 
Finish it, Conklin. Don't dribble it there. Jeez. And just, you, you know, like we talked about, he went with that dribble. Just go yeah. up. It's hard, though. Stone does maintain possession here. Oh, almost well, a trip. Luke is a little hesitant <laughs> out there. You can tell. He's got to shake it off. A little too oh. nervous. Almost a steal. Hops in for a long three. No good. I didn't, like, I didn't like that shot either. No, I didn't. Hobson's been off today, There's too. a long three. No good. Anderson rebound. He's going to slow it up a little bit and get yep. it to Hutch. Good idea. Work the offense, Hutch. Here's Anderson. Down to Conklin. Go up, buddy. Oh, Go up. First time, bud. Oh. Kick off. Come on, Turn over three. Oh, out. just missed. Battle for it. Oh. Uh, that could have been another foul on Drew Anderson. MG's got it. They, they can cut the lead here. Could cut it down to two with the three ball. Just got just to gotta buy some time before we put Nelson back in, you know. Yeah, Stoughton's got to be careful. Yep. There's a three. Back on here, no good. Hop, Hutch has got it. He's running. Pass over to Hobson. Hobson dribbling all the way in. Tough shot with the left hand. No good, but he's fouled. That'll put Hobson to the line. Yep. Hobson shooting 72%. We're going to call that on the floor, Shave. Oh, I see. I thought he was shooting. Didn't he? Only, I did too, but it's only the uh, second, second team foul on MG. Inbound to Sproul. Gonna have to have someone else make a shot here. Not sure where that foul is. There's a good example of the ball going through the through the hoop, but not counting. Yes. Yeah. He got fouled before it happened. Don't you feel like someone else has got to make a big shot here? Uh, I feel like Stoughton definitely needs needs two points here at least. Here's score, Hobson. Score on this possession. Almost got picked. Got it back. Bounce pass to Conklin. Get out of the lane there. There's a three ball. Hobson. Yeah, rattles in, good. Rattled that one in, Jay, and that's a big three for Stoughton. 13-15 left first half. Stoughton leads 42-34. Oh, an upset is brewing, Shafe. I like it. I'm feeling it. Everybody here in the crowd is feeling it. Good defense, Hutch. Cutting off that three all the way in the lane. That's a travel. That's a travel. Oh. We're going to call foul on the floor. That was an amazing drive by number two, Caden Nelson. He's got a lot of control of that basketball, Jay. You know, I think as long as Stone can keep a six to eight point lead, they're gonna keep Nelson on the bench. Yep. They called that foul on the floor, it'll prevent Nelson from going to the line. Yep. That's a second team foul on Stoughton. So no real foul trouble for either team yet. Winona Grove is not used to trailing like this. That's a nice drive all the way. Oh, good. Yep. yep, he's good. I'm impressed with a few other players. I am too. That's Hep. saying Hep is good. Hep, Houston, Bishop. Yep. Of course, Here's Nelson. Stroll. Go up, Conklin. Ah, the dribble again. by Nelson. Again, the dribble. I just, I don't, just don't dribble it. Yep, that's good. That's Kyle Nett. MG quickly crawling back into the game. Leads now four for Stoughton. Just like that, Shafe. It's down to four. Here's Hobson. Driving in, stops and pops, that's not gonna count. Here comes Nelson, Shave. Yep, I think we got enough minutes. All right. Out of Conklin. And like you said, I would like to believe the discussion was just play under control, you know. You don't have to get every loose ball, don't be pushing off. Oh, tough pass. Oh, there's a foul. Yep. Hep no. knew it, Hep knew it. Well, the fouls are adding up a little bit. Yep. That's already five on MG. So Stoughton's already getting close to the bonus with 12.15 left. MG cut that lead real quick, didn't they? They sure did. From eight to four there. Nelson wants it. Nice pass. Go up, buddy. Go up. Oh, the glass. Oh, no go, up go up again. Go up again. again. Yes. Oh, there's a foul. Definitely got fouled. Yep. Oh, oh, what do we got there? Shit up off him. You see that? Yeah, Nelson doesn't like it. Of course he doesn't. He can see it. You know, Nelson's their star player. I wonder if they're related. 
I don't know. His name is Look, Caden Nelson. Yeah. They're Maybe they're cousins. It could be. He's kind of smiling down there, and so is, <laughs> you know, they're cousins. They're cousins. I'm getting that uh, confirmed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. We have gotten confirmation of that. Co confirmation. Confirmation. Somebody's holding up a finger. Second cousin. Is that really your cousin? If I it's mean, I don't one? know. I mean, they're related in some way. <laughs> Certainly isn't in body size. I can tell you that. One out of two. Spoil rebound. Nice wow. job. That is a great rebound. Three ball shape. Oh, that's oh, way off mark. No good. Wonder if Houston got a piece of that. I feel like there's some questionable shots going up by Hobson. Ooh, there's a half wide left open wide open again. No good. Box it out. There's a foul. Yep. Are they going to call a foul there or just out of bounds? I'm not sure. I think they just called that out of bounds. I agree. Stoughton leads by five. 11.51 left in the game. There's Nelson. I'm surprised they're related because they're very different in size. So that was probably a little bit of playfulness there? I think so. I think <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> Got me all worked up there, Shafe. Here's Nelson. Thought about the three. Good defense, Stoughton. They're really sealing off the three ball. There's oh, a nice drive. Geez. Yep. That's Hep again. That is a solid looking drive by Sam Hep. Lead is three. 43 40. Stoughton still leads. You got to keep that lead there. Somebody else has got to score, though. There's a three. Rims out, no good. Go up strong. Got it picked. Kicks it out. What do we got? A timeout, Stoughton. Yep, timeout. That's a good, smart move by Coach Weber. 11 01 left. 43 40 Vikings. MG keeps cutting away at this lead. They've got it down to three now. Yep. At one point was eight for the Stoughton Vikings. Yep, the lead is three. But I really think, you know, Stoughton keep the game close and win it at the, and uh, find a way to win it at the end. That's how you got to look at it. Well, you know this game is going to come down to the end. Yep. A couple tough losses here for Stoughton against Oregon in double overtime. Yep. And then against Watertown. Yep, only lost by four the other night. That game came right down to the wire. So it's about time they win one of these close ones. Stoughton had a couple opportunities to tie that game Monday. Just couldn't get it done. Let's see what kind of play they run here. Hobson not shooting well tonight. Nope. Get it into Anderson. Down to Nelson. He's double teamed immediately, and that's a travel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, you know, they immediately double teamed him. They're getting smart about him now. But the thing is, you double team him, someone's got to be wide open for a shot, right? Well, or if, if, if you can if kick it out. Double or triple teamed, you're, you're liable to get fouled if you just go up. Yeah, that's true. Just got to go right up, like we talked about. Yeah. Monona Grove could tie it with a three. Wow, great no-look pass there from yeah. Nelson. Stoughton. They're sealing off the three. There's a long three, Shafe. That rattles in. It's good. 10.25 left. Tie second game. half. This game is tied. 10.20 left. Here's Hobbs. Anderson. Oh. oh. MG's fired up. Their crowd is fired up. Oh, that's a travel, isn't it? Yeah. They're going to call it on the floor and one for Kate and Nelson. Yep. Those crowds fired up from MG. 80% free throw shooter will try and make it a three point lead for the. MG Silver Eagles. Free throw. That's go. good. Ten minutes left, Jay. Stoughton trails by three. Uh, yep, just Feels like that. Feels like we were just up by eight. We were, we were just up by eight. Well, we haven't been able to get it to Nelson now, and when he has had it and has lost the handle, oh, he's getting double teamed. You can feel the uh, momentum has shifted. Yep, shoot it. Kick it out, hit the three. Probably was a the travel there. Oh. 
Late to sprawl down yep. low. Kicked down. That's our ball, though. Yep. No one's written. You can just tell no one really wants to shoot it. You can just tell Stoughton can feel the pressure. The game has gotten tight. They've lost their lead. And they're a little jittery. Yep. Calm down. Get two. Just relax. Everyone relax. 9.29 left. I feel like that should be a t-shirt. Yep. Calm down. Get two. Didn't Aaron Rodgers say that? Relax. Yeah. Here's Anderson. Here's Hutch. Somebody shoot it. Anderson oh, it. Boy oh got oh. rejected. And got it back, though. Hit it, Anderson. In the lane. Oh, oh, it again. It again. The travel. Oh, my goodness. I am not really, really pleased with that call. I mean, and who do they call that ball on? Nelson? I don't agree. That's his I mean, third? I mean, it seemed like a clear travel there, didn't it? Yeah. Inbounded wow. by number 21, Lance Nelson, and Caden Nelson. And, will... uh, and you got to sit Nelson again, and Scavlin's in there. Boy, there's a lot of Nelsons in this game. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's going to hurt. Rimmed out of there, no good. Battle for it. Scavlin's got it, and then he has a foul. Good. We're in the bonus now, Shave. Yeah, it seems like these refs want to make uh, foul calls a lot. They want to call lots yep. of fouls. I mean, some of those you just let go. Yep. So who's going to shoot here, Spro? Oh, Scavlin's going to shoot. Scavlin, a 46% free throw shooter. Need these two. Back iron, no good. Sproul, chase it down, buddy. Stay here. Nope. Got to make the free throws. 8.46 left. Only a three-point lead here, Jay. We're all right. We're all right. But you don't want to see the lead get any higher than this. No. Stops and pops. Good. Boy, Sam Hepp's got a clean-looking jump shot, doesn't he? We don't have an answer for him. The lead is five. So Stoughton trails by five here. Yep. Really needs to score. Yes. In the lane, good. Wow, the left hand. Don't know how a foul wasn't called there. It should have been an and one. As we approach eight minutes, 48-45, MG leads. Oh, it's throwing away, Shay. No call. It's a nice turnover. Good sportsmanship there by uh, Hobson and, Nelf and uh, Anderson. Anderson, Nelson, it's just... Houston, Houston wanted none of it. Well, yeah, we got a Caden Nelson. We've got a Lance Nelson. <laughs> We've got... A Jack Nelson. I mean, how yeah. many Nelsons can we have? I don't know, that's a lot. All right, we can tie it with a three. Nice pass. Hobson off the glass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that dangled on the rim and it dropped in. Stoughton chumps the lead down to one. Here we go, Shafe. Let's go. One point ball game. Do not allow a three here. Seal them off. Make them work for it. Lost the dribble there. They're working the ball. Yep. Well, Hep is not in there. Well, we got Kyle pushed. Matt. Hep, that's a foul. Yep. That's going to be on Scavlin, I think. Kyle that's real agile down low. He's been good for them tonight. Ethan Scablin with the foul. Kyle an 81% free throw shooter. That's his second. What percentage is he at? 81. 81. He's due to miss. Short. You called it. You know, at this level, free throws are not guaranteed. Now you got to box out here. Get the rebound, box out. Second one, also short, battle for it. That's got to be ours. There you go. Yep. All right. Missed both. 81%, you missed both. Exc exciting game here, Jay. 7-13, left second half. Stoughton trails by one point. Yep. Let's get a good shot here. Work the offense. Let's get a good look. Nelson's not in the game. 
So someone else has got to shoot. Sproul. Sproul looking. Over to Fernholm. I have a feeling it will be Hobson. Yep. He just hasn't found it yet tonight. Here's Sproul. Hobson looking for an opening. He's going to drive it all the way and stops and pops. That's rims out of there. No good. Battle for it. And it's going to come to Monona Grove. Good look there. Kyle Nett with the rebound. You're right, though. You, you kind of knew that shot was... Well, there's a drive all the way in. A wild shot. No good off the backboard. No good. That's got to go ours. That's, oh. That's going to be Monona Grove. It was last off. Sproul. Anderson back in. Sproul will check out. Just off the fingertips of Sproul. 6.33 left. Getting into crunch time now. Oh, he was open. That's number five. <laughs> Sam Happ, you don't want to leave him yeah, open in the lane. I'm impressed with his abilities. Yep, he will, he's he got will, it here. He will pull the jumper on you. Hep might just stop and pop from there. We're working the offense. Oh, tipped away. Stoughton's got, oh. We're going to call a foul on Drew Anderson. I think yep. that's unfortunate. I mean, it's just a good good anticipation there by, by Drew. That could be... Are they in the are they in the bonus now? But too much contact will will draw the foul. That'll put Caden Nelson to the line. Shooting 80%. No, that's their Oh no, they, they won't go to the line. Not yet. 16 or 612 left. Monona Grove can take the lead. Hobson doing a good job. I just, I'd like to see him seal off to three. Nelson to Houston to Hep. Yep. Good job there. That one rims out of there, no good. But That's Bishop good. gets the rebound, kicks it out to Houston That's for three. three. No That's good, Chafe. Wow, Bishop rebound. They're getting all the, gotta get those rebounds. Wow, Bishop with two offensive rebounds there really helps out. Yep. Well, Anderson's got four fouls, Shafe. He's got to come out. He's been aggressive tonight, and it's shown. Yep. It's also shown up in his foul number. Yep. Hep's going to inbound it. To Houston. Great. Take the by Hutch. All the way, Hutch. Layup. Good. Wow, Stone takes the lead. Yes. On that huge steal by Nathan Hutchinson. Student crowd's up and they're up and ready now, Shafe. 525 left. Stoughton by one. Come on, Vikings. Let's get a winner. Huge turnover. Student sections chanting out oh, there. Oh, there's a traveler step. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot it. He's going all the way, Shape. And what do we got here? I mean, are they going to count that basket? Yeah, they're going to count that basket. That's uh, number five, Sam Happ. He's had a great game tonight. That's on uh, timeout, Stoughton. That's going to be on Hobson his second. Yep, that's going to put MG up by one with 5-11 left in the game. Chance to go up by two. Yep. Well, there's quite quite a bit of energy in the crowd tonight. We got a, the big 1070, 100.5. We also got WSTO, which is us announcing. The there's w a lot of energy in the crowd tonight, Shane. The WKRP of announcing tonight. Stoughton, uh, that might be the first time this year I've heard a uh, Stoughton student section with a chant. Yeah, I liked it. They're I all feel a win tonight. I feel like it's going to be maybe even like a clutch three-pointer to win it. Oh, okay. That would be great. That would be a great way to send the season out for us, wouldn't it? It sure would. Go. Well, I don't think you can sit Anderson much more, but what we've no. talked about here a little bit is somebody else has got to be willing to step up. It can't just be Hobson and Nelson. Last game of the season, I think you roll the dice here. Someone else has got to be willing to take that tough shot, take it to the lane, shoot the three. Ooh, I like I like what uh, Coach Weber's done here. He's doubled down on the big men. Yes. Conklin and Nelson out on the floor right yep. now. I think that could be very helpful. The box out here. The lead is only one. Conklin and Nelson got to battle this out. Free throw's good. Two-point lead, five minutes left in the ball game. Two-point game, five minutes left here. Here we go, Shafe. Here's Hobson. 
Nelson Battle in there. Looking for it. There's a three shape. Oh, no good. Just hasn't seen it yet tonight. Nope. Nelson over to Houston. Thought about the three. That's a travel. No good. Tipped around. No good. That's got to be going down to us. Oh, how is that? Wow. wow. To number 24, Kyle Nett. Looked like it hit him right in the I'm hand. Both. Yeah, I don't understand. Uh, I'm not sure how you give that ball back to MG. Well, they're down there lower. Maybe they saw something we didn't. I don't know. I disagree. Happy and bounce it to Houston. <laughs> back to Hap. Yep, got to... Oh, come on, that's, a, yep, they're going to call that on Hutch. That's okay. Well, is that, are they in the bonus? Oh, yeah. Yep, they're in the bonus. That's no good. 439 left. That'll send number 11, Henry Houston, to the free throw line. Henry, is it, is it Houston or Houston? It's Houston. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's a bonus, a one and one, so again, you have to box out here. Free throw's good. Lead is three. That's four fouls on Hutch, so he's going to check out. 439 left. This free throw will make it a two-procession game if well, he makes it. What I do like about our lineup here is we have the size. Yeah, I like it too. Second one. Also good. Four-point game. Four and a half left. There we go. Need a Let's get a good shot. And if someone else is open, they got to be willing to shoot it. Here's Hobson. Trying to get it to Nelson. Yeah. Go up, buddy. Oh, he went with the dribble. Got fouled. That's on uh, Lance Nelson. Are they going to have two? No, that's that's Henry, Hus Henry Houston with the foul. Free throw, line drive, good. That's a big free throw. That is a big free throw. Now... I'm, I'm interested to see if Stoughton will pressure here. I think. I think it's time to pressure. See if we can pull within two. Yep. Second one, line drive again, good. Attaboy, Jack. Nope, they're staying back, they're staying back. We got a lot of size here. Two point ball game. Yep, they're playing a zone. And Mona Grove will be, right pa two. They'll be patient, but they're moving around, 4.05 left. Good defense, no reason to foul here. That's a long three, back iron, no good, battle for it. Oh, rebounded by Lance Nelson. Yep. Another rebound for Monona Grove. Too many offensive rebounds. Oh, that's another no. long three. Rims out of there. Oh, that's over the back, isn't it? All right, that's all right. Here we go, Shave. 3.45 left, 53-51. Monona Grove leads. Here's Hobson. Dribbling. Gets cut off, knocked away, gets it back. Nelson. Oh, get Nelson out of it. up high. What's he doing? Go, go back to where he <laughs> yeah, belongs. Go back low. Here's Fernholtz. Conklin. Nelson either running out of steam. There's there you Nelson. go. Go up, buddy. He's going up. Go safe. strong. Oh, we got fouled. Yeah. Nice job. Jack Nelson's just been a force down there all night tonight. I like it. Kyle Nett says travel. Ref said no travel. See if Nelson can make another two free throws. That would tie it. I like those line drives. He just puts it right over the... Unorthodox style, but it's been working for him tonight. Yep. Free throw. Rinse out. No good. All right. That's all right. Hits the second one. I feel like there's a lot of game to be played yet here. I do too. This game is far from over. Let's make the second one. Second one is back iron. No good. And, oh. MG with the rebound. Needed one of those. Anderson's going to check back in. He's at the scorer's table. MG by two. We're now under three minutes left. Winona Grove will be patient. Tight ball game. Yep. No postseason implications, but momentum on the line going yep. into the playoffs. Stone's going to have to start thinking about fouling. This is a good reason to have a shot clock. Yeah, we've talked about it a lot, but... Ooh, steal that, Hobson. Yep. 
All right, you here we go. Well, you can pass well. Wide open three. That's way off the mark. No good. Conklin rebound. Like it shaped. Like it. Stoughton was patient on defense. Didn't foul. Probably an ill-advised shot there from Lance Nelson, but he yep. was open. 2:12 left. Be patient here. Here's Hobson stops and pop shape. Oh, that's a short. short. Yep. Tough shot. Under two minutes now. Timeout, MG. Full oh, timeout. 158 left, second half. Well, that's going to allow uh, Hutch and uh, Drew Anderson to check back in. They both have four fouls. But at this point, you got to just play, right? Stoughton trailing by two. You know, they're going to come out and pass the ball around. Yeah. They're going to eat a minute off of this clock and yeah. then try and score two points. Is he a foul? Well, I think what you, you know, we've talked about a lot of these late game strategies. There's a minute 58 left. I think you can play a solid 45 seconds, 50 seconds of defense. And if that doesn't, you know, you may foul them, but I feel like you're going to get a turnover. Something good can happen. Well, and, I, think, um, I think that's the strategy, But right? if they still have possession and you get down to about a buck 10 on the clock, then you got to foul they're going to be passing the ball around a lot, right? Right. Look to steal. Yeah. And and you're right. This is the perfect um, perfect reason why you really should have. I would even be okay with the 40-second shot clock. Sure. Sure, I would too. Because, look, because that's exactly what you just said. There's a minute 58 on the clock, and you said let it go down to a minute 10. Right. right. Basketball is not meant to be. It, it's... Um, you're meant to shoot the ball. It's, right. It's not meant to just, like, stall. Right. It's not what the game's all about. You know what I mean? So they're going to spread the floor out here. Yep. They're going to try to trap them here, Shafe. It's a good idea. Yep, they're trapping. There you go. Steal, yep. Shafe. All the way. Okay. All the way. And missed it. Oh, foul is good. Yeah. Oh, are they going to wave that off? What? No. Oh. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. This is the most awful call I've ever seen in my life. Nope. What are they talking about? They're talking about basket interference. It's a terrible call. That is the worst call I have ever no. seen. That is a put-back tip. Yep. Not not a good call. That's horrible. That's just, that's just taken away from the game. Wow. Terrible call. Can't make that call there. No, Jay. you can't make that call as a high school ref. Nope. Well, you got plenty of time here. You don't need to foul yet. 125 left. Oh, he threw it away, Shave. Yep. Yes, the yep. ball. There we go. You sure that wasn't a foul on us? I mean, come on. Well, Stoughton gets it back, and rightly so. Things happen wow. for a reason. I mean, that was just a follow-up tip, wasn't it? What did they call it? Basket interference? I, I mean, they, Hobson went in there looking to dunk that ball. It was well off the mark on the rim before he touched it. Uh, here we go, Shave. Could tie it all the way. Foul on the floor. That's yeah. good. That'll send Hobson to the line. Double bonus for the double bonus for the Vikings. Hobson shooting 78% from the line. Chance to tie it here with a minute 15 left in the ball game. That's going to be the fourth on uh, Henry Houston. There we go. Got to make both shave. First one. Good. Oh, exciting game here down to the wire. Now, interestingly here, if Stoughton does tie it, does Monona Grove actually play for one shot here? I mean, they could. Take it to the buzzer. I mean, you could. I don't know if I can handle that, Shave. That's why they need a shot clock. <laughs> well, what a way to finish the season here, huh? Hobson to tie it. Good. Most nice of those are Peter. 53-53. One That's ten left in this ball game. The crowd is fired up. Senior night in Stoughton. They're going to try and trap them here again, Jay. They're not going to play for one, are they, Shave? Under a minute, Shafe. Don't foul. Don't, don't foul, foul. Don't foul. Here we go. Five seconds here, Shafe. Five oh. seconds. Time out. <laughs> oh, the crowd's fired up, Shafe. The crowd is loud. 52.9 seconds left. Well, ball game here. I think at this juncture, I feel... I, I think Monona Grove is going to play for the final shot. Yeah, I think that's unfortunate, but probably true. 
I'd like to see them take a shot and give Stoughton another chance, but no. if you don't have to deal with a shot no. clock, it's, it's going against what the normal thing to do is, but it wouldn't be the worst case here to follow them. You know, maybe they make one, maybe they make none. Even if they make both, you could still win it with a three. Um, but it's if you just let kind them, of a silly, it's just kind of a silly way to play basketball. But if they, if you allow them to take it all the way to the buzzer, you're not going to get a shot. Right. And then you, you know, the best case scenario is overtime. Oh, well, it's a good attempt. All right, they're going to take it down to the wire here, Shave. I expect them to go with about 40, near 40 seconds left here. This is kind of dangerous. Uh, MG, it oh, doesn't trap seem him, real Shave. Oh. I think they can get a steal here. 35 seconds left. I think left. they can too. This doesn't look real good from MG right now. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have to go. With, I think they're gonna go with about 15 seconds here. 25 seconds left. 23 seconds left. Inside pass. Oh, they got stripped. Yeah. All right, play for one, Jay. Play for one time timeout. Out. I don't like. That's a great timeout by Coach. I don't like the timeout. I think you just go. I don't. I mean, 16 seconds. You obviously got the last shot here, Jay. Why not take a timeout and, here, and talk about and it? here's the situation. 16.6 seconds left. No matter what happens here, you either win the game or well, you go to overtime. That's right. And I don't care if the final shot's from half court. Right. You have to take the last you shot. You have to take the last shot here. Last, la end of last half. And, and they, left, what, they left eight seconds on the clock, and what did MG do? They came well, down and scored a three. And the thought is sometimes, you know, MG's trying to get back on defense and everything. Maybe... Maybe there you just go, but I'm okay with the timeout. I think I'm okay with the timeout because I like to discuss it here. You clearly have a chance of taking the last shot. You don't fire this ball with more than four seconds on the clock. So here's what I think happens here. I think you're not going to get a down to Nelson here. Um, too many bad things can happen. It can get deflected. I think you, I, I think you isolate you isolate Hobson and. Uh, he takes your last shot, and if not, he he dribble drives, kicks it out, Fern holds. I'm kinda, not sure. It kind of almost makes sense, too, because Hobson has really struggled from beyond the three-point line tonight, and maybe this is the one he's going to get right. Well, and if you, uh, and if you, and if Hobson does kick it out to somebody, like Sproul, um, Anderson, even Conklin for that matter, Somebody's going to be wide open. Can they hit the shot? Jay, this is the time you got to get hungry for the Viking ride. Here we go, Shafe. Run that clock. Here we go. 16 seconds left. Hot. Hutch has got it. Get it to Hobson here. Crowd's loud. There goes Hobson. Don't shoot it too early. Six seconds left. Drive in the lane. The shot is good. Wow. That's good. That goes wild. Time out. Manona Grove. It's good. Wow. Huge shot. 3.2 seconds left. Stoughton leads by two. There are kids jumping off the top level of the bleachers, doing cartwheels, backflips right now. It's insane in here. I feel like the students may run onto the court after this one. If, <laughs> I think it is a court. It's a court charger. Yep. They're getting ready. So where did Monona Grove call that timeout? Jay, it is rambunctious in here. I can barely even think. Well, the key thing here is where is Monona Grove in? I thought they were behind the half line. What does that mean? Well, if they called the timeout right after the shot, yeah, then they're going to get on the baseline. If that's the situation, they're going to have to add more time. That's what that co is. That yeah, what, they, uh, I I feel like they're going to have to add like a half a second, maybe. And it doesn't look like they're going to do that. Well, with this officiating crew, I hate to say it, I'm not surprised. So, MG will get 3.2 seconds. Yes. Well, they will likely shoot a desperation three. It will be do or die for them. Right now. Most likely, they're going to send... Well... They're going to set up a pick, and they're going to go for a long three. Everybody on their feet. Don't foul. Don't foul. It's a desperation three. No good. Stoughton wins. Stoughton Stoughton wins. wins. Stoughton wins. No, that's how you go in the playoffs. That's game. a huge win for the Vikings. On senior night. Unbelievable win, Shafe. 
the Viking Pride comes through <laughs> with a huge win against Conference Champs. They just defeated the number one seed in the playoff, Shafe. Now that tells you as a team you can do it. Now you're going in as a seventh seed. And, uh, wow. Now, I, you know, after the game, there's going to be a lot of speculation that, oh, maybe, you know, Minota, it's a meaningless game for Monona Grove. But I tell you what, it wasn't meaningless for them. They played to win this game. They did. And they lost. Yep. Wow, a huge win for Stoughton. What does that put Stoughton's record at? 12 and 10 going into the playoffs? 12 and 10. Okay. 10 and 4 in conference. Okay. And uh, is that, how many losses is that for the season for Monona Grove? Geez, not very many, Jay. Uh, I want to say, look, let me get my uh, stamp sheet out here. Thank you. They are 15 and 6. Okay. On the season. That was their sixth loss. All right. Well, it's been a fun season, Jay. I hope everyone enjoyed it. I'm not. I'm not ready for it to end. I I'm can not tell you that. <laughs> I mean, there's got there's got to be something else we can say about this Stoughton Viking team tonight. How about player of the game? Well, you got to give it to Hobson. He made the shot at the end. That's right. Um, but Jack Nelson's got to be a got to be honorable mention. Honorable mention, but Hobson. Huge clutch, shot at the end. Clutch wins the game. Got to feel good for Hobson tonight. Yep. And the Stone Vikings and this momentum going into the playoffs. And like I said at the beginning of this game, all a team like Stoughton needs is to gel. Yeah. Get their backs up against the wall. Know that they have to win. And they did this tonight without Kale McGee. Right. And, and you know, like you had talked about when we came on the air, there's a, a game, you know, when you really break it down, it means nothing. The playoffs are already seeded. But for Stoughton and what we've seen from Stoughton this year, to have that kind of win... That kind of momentum going into the playoffs. If I'm anybody on this team right now for Stoughton, I don't see how we lose. We just beat Monona Grove. We're coming in hot. I I think they're going to just destroy Portage in that first game. And oh, then we'll the, see what happens. Yeah. We'll see what happens after that play-in game. Yeah. Perhaps they can win that game without Kale McGee and then get yep. him back full strength for... What could be a really exciting run in the playoffs for the Stoughton Vikings. All right. Well, the final score again from Stoughton. Stoughton 55, Monona Grove 53. And uh, it's been a great season, Shafe. Sure has, Jeff. We'll, we'll be back every next single year. Minute. We'll be back next year. We'd we'll be, be we'll be seasoned veterans by then. Yeah, we love being with our, our audience. Thank you for being with us on WSTO. A big thanks to all of our sponsors. Stoughton Trailers, Stoughton Hospital, McGlynn's, McGlynn Pharmacy, Hanson Electronics, and Pizza Pit. So with that, we'll say good night, everybody. Good night, Chief. broadcast of Stoughton High School Boys Basketball on WSTO-TV is brought to you by Stoughton Hospital. For more than 100 years, our neighbors in the Stoughton area have trusted Stoughton Hospital to provide personalized, forward-thinking, expert health care. Stoughton Hospital is a proud supporter of WSTO programming, trusted care close to home. Stoughton Trailers is proud to support Stoughton High School Athletics. Come join the family. Apply now on our career page at StoughtonTrailers.com. The UPS Store of Stoughton. You can't do it all at once, but you can do it all in one place. 2364 Jackson Street, next to Papa Murphy's. Hanson Electronics, your local U.S. Cellular authorized agent and Radio Shack dealer. Pizza Pit of Stoughton, fresh, fast, and hot delivery of our great pizzas, sandwiches, chicken, and more. 
and McGlynn Pharmacy, your local full-service pharmacy with free delivery.